Hey, what's up, y'all? I am just Brittany, Queen of H-Town, and right now you're tuned in to Living the Hustle because we do it every day. Believe that. Welcome back to Living the Hustle on Location. I'm your host, Laura Marcel. This week, we're catching up with H-Town's queen, Jess Brittany, as she's getting ready to put out her new record and talking about her transition from being a dancer to a serious artist and what that transition has been like. This is what she had to say at KCSU 90.9 FM. KTSU, man, you my girl. I appreciate it, man. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you got going on this weekend, because I know you on the grind. I'm surprised you in the city, because you stay on the road. Um, and yeah, just working on my new single, man. We actually just shot the video for it, maybe like a week ago, to something different, and um, it'll be dropping real, real, real soon. So we got a lot of couple of things in the works, man. I'm just trying to stay on the road, stay grinding, and stay at it. I'm here with H-Town's queen. I've known for a while, I've watched her career grow. It's like watching a proud child, like it's just a proud parent. I'm just, oh my God, you've been doing your thing. Just Brittany, tell me, how you doing? I'm doing good, and I'm glad to be on Living the Hustle. Shout out to the whole Living the Hustle team. I see y'all out there. Shout out to 90.9, my girl, Misha, baby. Yeah, right, yeah. right here. We in the studio, KTSU. That's why it's hot. We up under these hot lights. But I know that's right. Your, your face stay beat. Now tell me about the style, man, because you switched it up. You were with orange hair. I'm loving it, but I've seen it like a hundred different ways. How do you guys come up with the different styles? I just left my barber. I mean, uh, my barber. No one knows I don't get my hair cut like that. But I just left my stylist, um, Joe, and we actually trying to figure out what other styles can we do. Like, I started wearing orange hair like a year ago um, on my birthday. But I actually tried it way long time ago. I just didn't keep up with it. But on my birthday last year, June 11th, I tried the orange hair, and then we just haven't changed since then. Like, um, Joe being there, just dying everything and just, like, seeing what type of new styles can we come up with. Like, just staying on top of things and just being creative. I'm like his little Barbie doll. Oh, my bad. I'm like his little Barbie doll. <laughs> and he's just willing to try anything, and I'm willing to just sit there and let him do it because he does makeup and he does hair. So it's like a two-in-one. Hey. That's a win-win. Yeah. Now, a lot of people won't even admit it, but I've seen a lot of people jockeying your style. I've seen hairstyles that you've had first, or styles, and I've seen other people rocking them. Have you noticed it? I mean, we are fabulous. People are going to, you know, look at you and, and try to rock the same thing you do. You do. So I'm not mad at them, as long as you just get it done right. Don't be looking out wretched and stuff. Now, let's talk a little bit about your evolution, because I always say that you've really grown in your career and have you started out. Now, a lot of people will focus on when you used to dance, and now you've kind of like parlayed that into like a brand. Right. Like, tell me a little bit about that and how that came about, because you got the uh, stripper pole classes. Right, well, I mean, I've learned so much stuff while I was a dancer, like, oh my gosh, if I would have known that what I knew back then, now, like, I would be so, much, I feel like I would be so much further ahead, but everything happens the way that is intended to. So, I mean, I, I've learned so much while I was in the industry, so I wanted to share with, you know, women of all walks of life, you know, the working woman, the regular woman, the, you know, the woman who don't go out much. Like, I want to get put them inside of their world so they'll be able to experience not even going to a strip club, but they'll they'll know what it what it feels like to be in a strip club, and they'll know the moves and stuff that the dancers do, too. So it's kind of like two, three, and one, and you learn how to work on a pole and a chair and all of that type of fun stuff, so... I mean, it's, it's very fun, man. I mean, stripper games, the whole stripper brand. Like, it's a very fun thing. I think sometimes people take it out of contact, but it's really fun. It's like, it, it's just sexy, because that's what we like to do, like, as women. Like, we like to put our bra and panties on and just be sexy all the time, but that's not how it is in class. But if you want to wear your bra and panties, you can. It'll be real cute, cute, cute. But, I mean, y'all got to come to the stripper games class. I'm starting to, um, it's called a twerk out. I'm mixing the, the stripper games with the workout. 
having one big old cahoots, one big gumbo. And um, yeah, I'm a certified personal trainer now. So, you know, I want to put it all in one. Maybe a DVD coming soon. That's what I mean, you've grown your brand from uh, being a dancer. Because a lot of times dancers get a stigma and they can't grow past that. But you have actually grown your brand. What else have you learned from that you maybe could like throw knowledge onto young women who have like transitioning from a dancer who may want to sing, who may want to act, who may want to do something else, but they feel like they can't shake that look. Because a lot of, it's, it's more prominent with African-American women. African-American women that become dancers and they try to step outside of that, people tend to not let that go. Whereas you have more Caucasian women, you got like Kathy Zeta Jones, you got Lady Gaga. They were all strippers and dancers before they even got on. And then no one ever remembers that. What do you think about that? Well, I've always been an entertainer before I was even a dancer. I didn't even know anything about being a dancer or stripping before I started stripping. I was really going through a bad relationship and I knew some people, um, I knew some people before I even went in strip club and I kind of like had that information and I was going through this relationship. I'm like, man, you know what, forget all of that. Like, hey, what's up, what you was talking about? Okay, yeah. I walked in there and I walked in the club and I just was like, oh my gosh, this is where I need to be at. Like, that's just how I felt. But, um, you know, I always wanted to be an artist before I was able to, I mean, before I was a dancer. So when I was financially able to back myself, then that's what really made a lot of things change. Like, um, what I would be able to say to girls is just like, it's got to be something that, you got to be authentic. Like, it got to be real inside you. It got to be something that you want to do because just like in a strip club, it's a struggle. It's a struggle in the in the artist world, too. It's a str struggle in the entertainment business. I mean, it's a struggle just trying to live day to day. So it, if it's something that you love, I would just say stay with your craft, stay with it, and, you know, just keep it going. Like, just keep it going, like, continuously stay on their necks, never let up, and, you know, show and prove. Tell us about the new music you got coming out. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, I'm working on my new project. It's called Something Different. It's actually already done. But it's not out yet. But y'all can go check out my new single. It's called Something Different off the self-titled CD. Something Different. Um, it's on iTunes. We just shot the video for it like a week ago. It should be out in the next couple of days or in the next week or so. But, I mean, that's my baby. Like this, I feel like my new project, Something Different, is, is, is me showing the inner me, my innermost thoughts and feelings and you know when I'm feeling vulnerable when I'm happy when I'm unhappy and that's something that I really haven't showed to people I'm always showing the the crunk side and the happy side but now I mean the crunk side and the and, the, and you know and the happy side but now I'm showing people my feelings and you know how I feel all the time so this is the real me and it's definitely something different that I want everybody to see thanks for joining us for another edition of living the hustle on location I've been your host Laura Marcel and we truly enjoyed our time Make sure you check us out on the web at livingthehustle.com or follow us on Facebook and Twitter at L-I-V-I-N, The Hustle. Until next time, how are you living your hustle?